Today we're going to make a sign for our PNC 12 Extreme using Flash Cut CNC software. You'll see the Flash Cut software that I'm using right now is a little bit beefier version. This is basically the Pro Series with all the extra stuff. And what you get with that is you get this unique texting tool, uh, the DXF conversion. Uh, there's import centerline images, import silhouette images, and this bridging tool. Those are all features which you can upgrade to at a later date uh, and basically purchase your software with the machine down the road. If you want to upgrade and you like the features, you can do that. If not, you can always keep it the same and go ahead and continue business as normal. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a silhouette sign. So we're going to import a silhouette image similar to any other Windows-based format. We'll go over here and we're going to click our Browse section. And that's going to bring up the sign that I want to make. Now, this is an image that I've already worked on a little bit before, as you can see. We're going to double-click on that. We're going to open it. And I have that saved into a folder so I can pull from every... So I can pull from that folder every single time that I want to. It takes a couple seconds. It imports it. Here's your progress window here. Everything's set. Now, this is going to give you the sizes that you want. And you can always change them, too. Just keep clicking there and she'll go down a little bit or increase. I like the way this sign looks, so I'm going to go ahead and check it in. And the next thing I want to do here is I want to start writing some text in it. We'll customize it a little bit. I'm going to take the text window here and I'm going to put this little text box right there. I just make a left click and that, that'll put it on the sign so I can see what it's going to look like. Now I'm going to backspace all this. I'm going to go into capital letters because capital letters are much easier to cut out. There's a lot less dropouts such as your O's, your P's, your A's, and your R's. There's very, there's, there's a little bit less in capital letters. So we're going to do E. Sleep. Hunt. You can see it written down here. Now, one thing we notice, we're going to want this in bold, and we're going to want to change our size of our letters a little bit here. Let's go ahead and increase these here. Now, I like that, but the only thing I don't like is the font. I'll click on the font here. It's going to come down, and I just picked the first one, Arial Black. Now, the easy way to do this is hover over where it says Arial Black. Use the center scroll button on your mouse. And I'm just going to scroll through until I see something that I like. That looks pretty nice right there, Bell MT. We'll go ahead and we're going to decrease that size a little bit so it looks good on the sign. I'm going to check it in. Now you'll notice by looking at this, it's not exactly centered. We can go ahead and I'm just going to do this by eye for now. I can get into some different snaps and later on in different videos. That looks pretty good to me. Take it over a little bit. Okay, now let's go ahead and check that in. I'm going to click off the screen someplace, zoom out a little bit. Now you'll notice that all these black letters here, those obviously are not going to cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to left click on those and then we're going to come up here. This is explode and what explode will do is turn that from one solid block letter into a bunch of line segments. Take a little bit because of the complexity of it. Let it run through and there we go. Now you'll notice here we have the A and we have the P. Those are the only two dropouts that we have. Let's go ahead and use our bridging tool. I have this preset at a bridge width of 0 .0 or 0.12. It's about uh, an eighth of an inch, give or take. I'm going to zoom in here using my scroll feature. I'm just going to pick a spot right in the center of this A. I'm going to left click and then I'm just going to bring this down. Left click again. Then I'm going to take a right click, 
I'm not going to take a right click. I'm going to take another left click. Zoom out here. I like how that looks. Next thing we're going to want to do is address the P. Do our center mark. Bring this down again. Left click. I'm going to click off the screen someplace so I, it'll allow it to do the next command. I'm going to hit my check mark to say, OK, I'm ready. Or I'm going to red exit. That's the easier way to do it. Escape that, get out of this command. Now I'm into the grab feature, which is your standard basic. I'm going to highlight that, and then we're going to delete it just by pressing the delete key. Now you can see there we're not going to have any cut issues. At the end of this line, there's going to be this little green node. We're going to left click, and we're going to hold that node, and we're going to run it up to the next line. Let off. Check that again. Everything should be okay. And now we are all set. Let's go ahead and make sure that the sign looks good and it's exactly what we want. That looks okay to me. Go to our cam feature. First thing I like to do is make sure that I'm not in PowerMax 125. So I'm going to come down and change my nozzle. Generally, out of the factory, this 125 amp shield is going to be the one picked. We're going to pick fine cut. And now we're going to come down here and we're going to make sure that our kerf is zeroed out. Check that in. The main reason why we do that is because the PNC 12 Extreme uses its own kerf feature. So if you were end up doing a file that already has kerf input into it and your PNC 12 were to use that kerf, you're going to have a double kerf and essentially give yourself an error. We don't want that. So let's go ahead and scroll out on this. The sign looks good. We're going to visually inspect that every part here is red. If it's a black line, that would mean that it's not going to cut that and that it found an issue. Some of the issues could be parts that are not connected all the way, um, overlapping entities, any of those little things. So uh, we're done with that. Let's go ahead and create a G code file. Now I have a USB on me. This. We're going to plug our USB stick in. For the thing. Okay, sounds like we're ready to go now. We're going to save this file name as Eat Sleep Hunt. Put it on our USB. Save it there. Yes, I want to replace it. And there we go. We're all set. Now we can go ahead and continue to take the part out to the machine and cut some. Okay, so now we're at the machine. The first thing we're going to do is open up our USB port cover and insert our USB stick into the USB port. Next thing we're going to do is press F2 for files. Press F2 again for USB files. This will take us to our directory of all the files on the USB stick. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. There can be several pages depending on how many files you have. Once you have the file you want, go ahead and press F8. You may have to press it twice. And after that, you are ready to go. Go ahead and press Start, then Enter. After you press enter, the machine will begin to cut.